Hey guys, Jason Lovett from Artsy Passive Income with another video. So today I did some soft math on my goals and kind of checked out where uh, my every. I just wanted to like see mathematically where my goals would lie line up and if it was possible, because I think that's actually pretty important, right? To see if what you're doing is actually going to lead you to your goals in a timely manner. And uh, I obviously there is going to be some risk and uncertainty with what you're doing. But there's always, you can measure things in probability. Like, what is the probability of it succeeding? And uh, for me, it's, it's I, I mean, if I am going to bet on one audio, at least one uh, book sold on average for every book per month, that's worst case scenario. I'm really basing this off of worst case scenario, which means more than likely, I mean, definitely, I will be, be making more than what I plan to get. However, I think that um, measuring things by worst case scenario is the only way you can truly measure things because otherwise you're you're not uh, baking basing off of a you know uh, a foundation of truth, I guess. And uh, so I, I'm basing my everything I'm doing off of worst case scenario. And uh, it made me realize that worst case scenario, I'm not gonna be able to achieve my goal by the end of this month. However, this made me um, reevaluate things. First of all, um, when, if I did the same amount of work, would I achieve my goal? And uh, two, also, why am I doing this and is it worth it to if I'm going to be spending longer? So I did a lot of hard thinking and like kind of sp spanned it all out. And um, if I did on average two audiobooks per day for the next four months, I would worst case scenario meet my goal, definitely. Like there's just, there would be beyond a doubt, I would be, I would be meeting my goal. And so, you know, sometimes you have to ask yourself, is it worth it to um, sacrifice some t extra time for a level of hard certainty that you're going to succeed. And I kind of had to do this kind of like uh, this thinking and this soul feeling for myself. And it really came down to this, you know, what, it, what am I going to gain from doing this? If I make a thousand dollars per month in passive income, uh, definitely for the next seven years, because they're all seven year contracts, what would that do for me? Um, is it worth dedicating four months to solid, hard, <clears throat> hard work to make it happen? And for me, which I'm sure many people out there would agree, hell yes, it's worth it. Um, you know, originally I was like, you know, I, I want to do two months and then I'm like, oh, I want to get done one month. But now I'm just realizing that there are natural limitations that you have to account for. You know, that you can't do so mu as much work as you uh, or physically want to. Or uh, you can't make as much money doing what you're doing as you want to in a small amount of time. But the beauty of passive income and royalties, really, is that you're going to be getting them for a long time. So if you focus a small amount of time in this case, four months, which is one third of a year. Um, it really comes down to this, you know, it's like I'm spending one third of a year working my ass off so that for seven whole years or six and one third, six and two thirds, I have total freedom and I don't have to work at all. Is it worth it? And that's why I had to ask myself today. Yes, it is totally worth it. And uh, I mean, it, it is definite too. Like I've, I did the uh, the math. The worst case scenario is that I'll be making $1,000 per month. I mean, it isn't 100% definite, but like based on um, uh, past 
um, past data, right, and projected data, and common sense, you know, um, is the author of this one of their books, do you think that he'll be able to sell at least one copy per month? You know, most likely, yes, because first of all, they're actually pretty good authors. So more than likely, they're going to send sell multiple copies. But I like to bank on the worst case scenario. It's something that's very manageable mathematically for my brain. And it's just selling one copy each. And uh, so that's basically it. You know, I'm going to go for the worst case scenario and I'm shooting for something definite now. It's like, yes, I could I could probably make a thousand dollars per month passively by the end of this month. But would it be uh, would it be certain that I'll be having that much money for the next seven years? Not as not that certain. But how long would it take for you to to uh, make enough to where it would be certain? You know, in my case, it would be four months. Yeah, four months. And uh, how how many? Uh, well, actually, no, three months. Three months. December twentieth. Yeah, so about three months, and uh, it would be uh, would be certain by then. So that's really it. You gotta kind of just like ask yourself: Is it worth it? Um, or is it gonna work? And um, what are you going to do to make it make it really work? And that's what I'm doing. I'm reevalu. I'm not changing my goal. I'm changing my uh, my reality. I'm, my perception of reality and being more realistic about it and then accepting the fact that um, yes it's going to be more effort it's going to take longer time but then you ask yourself okay is it worth it then you're like as opposed to working a job for the next 10 years or whatever and you know what if you look at look at it on the flip side this is a great opportunity for me to learn how to think independently and become an independent person truly and not just a sheep that, that seems to get scared or they can't they can't uh, deal with a certain level of uncertainty which is low risk in this case um, they just flock to the, the uh, to get a job or go to school or something easy that everyone else is doing so they feel safe because they're not thinking for themselves and um, Really, when shit hits the fan, man, you want to be a, someone that can think for yourself. And what better way to do it than in a relatively cozy environment? You know, I'm really, I, I, as much as I want to mentally stress myself out, I, we've all got it made living in the USA, you know. And if, you ha if you're living in your parents like I am, I've got it made right now. You know, sure, I'm not living the high life, but I will be soon, you know, because I'm doing this. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy the fact that I got blankets and warmth and food. And you got to be grateful. You know, I'm so grateful about all this. But yes, yeah, so now my new goal is by the end of the 20th, I'm going to stop working. Of The 20th of December. December 20th. I'm going to stop working. I'm going to chill out, enjoy the holidays. And then I'm going to party on New Year's. And on New Year's... Uh, Probably the day after New Year's, I'm going to go start traveling. You know what? I can, I can deal with that. Yes, for the next four months or whatever, three months, I'm going to be chickless. I'm not going to be with any girls. I won't be uh, partying very often. But I'll be uh, going to work out mentally and physically and, I'm going, and financially. So you can't go wrong with that, man. And if you're going to do something like this, it's enjoyable. Enjoy it, you know? Don't don't flock to the masses because it's scary, but just enjoy the uh, the challenge of it, of uh, every every aspect of it. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Thanks, guys. I'm Jason Lovett. This is RC Passive Income Vlog, and I'll catch you later.